So the solution has a data discovery and classification model built in. So we are basically a data security vendor. We have a strategy for data-centric audit and protection. What we believe is data is oil in the new world and it's really critical to find out where your most sensitive data is because it resides in the files and folders. It may reside in your emails, in your SharePoint objects, in your OneDrive objects, inside your environment. So the solution, what it really does is it helps you identify where your most sensitive information is and why it's sensitive. So the solution has a built-in template structure. You can use the templates based on different compliances for different regions. So we have templates made for almost every region for UK, US and other compliances for other regions as well. Then the structure is built on the pyramid approach and the base is a pattern. The pattern is basically the sensitive information which you are looking for inside your files. So there are around 200 inbuilt patterns within the solution, like for different credit cards, passport numbers, for different countries, driver's license numbers, IP addresses, different information, medical insurance numbers, social security numbers, bank account information, etc. You can make use of these inbuilt patterns or you can create your own custom patterns here as well. It could either be a regular expression or a string value or a case sensitive string value. That means a keyword which you are specifically looking for inside the files or the emails. Once you are done configuring the solution, it will run a scan or a search throughout your structure. Read a file server or SharePoint object, read a mailbox system or OneDrive. Once it searches all the information, then it shows you the report at one place. A very concise report. So we show you all the data under risk analysis, classified files, and it's shown to you in a tabular format wherein it gives you the details of the file server, the location of the file along with the name and the kind of sensitive data it contains and which compliance does it relate to. How many instances of that content type exist in that particular file? What's the risk level associated with it? And you can also associate a monetary value to that specific content type. Say for a social security number, if a file containing social security numbers is worth eight grand for you, you can assign a monetary value for that and then it can filter out those changes on the basis of those monetary values as well. So the solution now shows you the name of the files, the location where they are and the content type. So it basically answers a very important question. Where is my most sensitive data? You now know where it is and why it's sensitive. Now you know because it contains this kind of information. So that's how the solution helps you track down your most sensitive data.